We recently covered the astonishing and largely unexplained ancient temple known as Kailash, which quietly sits within India. A temple cut out from a solid rock with such precision, such vision and accuracy, it is a feat we would struggle to recreate even to this day, clearly demonstrating an ancient high technology that has undoubtedly been lost over the millennia. Could this temple actually be evidence left by a far older group of people? A remnant left by a far more advanced civilization than that which academia will allow us to publicly discuss within many modern fields of study. Within the Baraba and Nagarjuni hills of the Jehanabad district of India sits another series of rock-cut features. Six crudely cut caves carved into large stones which litter the surrounding hillsides they could be seen as crude and possibly more modern attempts to recreate what can be found on the top of the hill. Known as the Lomas Rishi Cave, cut into an enormous rock, it is the only one out of the many within the area which demonstrates a level of refinement which literally boggles the mind. The only cave in the area that has a delicately cut entrance, but also an interior which has seemingly been protected from the elements perfectly preserved in its original state, demonstrating a state of rock cutting which has left the rock polished to a mirror-smooth finish. Evidence reinforcing the postulation that this cave and additionally Kailash Temple are remnants left by a far older and once far more advanced culture than officially accepted. The hut-style facade at the entrance to the cave is officially accepted as the earliest example of the ogi-shaped Chaicha Arch or Chandra Shala that was to be an important feature of Indian rock-cut architecture and sculptural decoration for centuries during its post-cataclysmic development. The example here is largely accepted as the specific influence for later examples, of which there are many at later Buddhist sites, such as Ajanta Caves and Kala Caves in Maharashtra. How, or indeed who, cut the Lomas Rishi cave? How did they achieve such an amazing finish to the stonework? Were these same people responsible for the construction of the Kailash temple, also another structure exquisitely cut out of a giant solid stone? Although modern academically accepted views state that they were created during the reign of the Mauryan emperor Ashoki, a Buddhist ruler from the 3rd century BC, who ruled over almost the entire country of India, caves known as Sat Gava were carved into the hills for the use of the monks, Lomas Rishi Cave being said to have been one of them. Yet due to its exquisite quality, it's hard to see just how they can claim this. An astonishing collection of ancient evidential items and rediscovered historical factors have allowed the argument for an once lost history to have existed all but now a foregone conclusion. A civilization at which some point in our distant past was lost, yet a once highly advanced worldwide culture. The proof that these ruins were all built by the same people or by those who were in contact with each other worldwide is now, we feel, overwhelming. Yet their technological capabilities were just as equally astonishing. Cut from nearly every type of strata, Ruins with such precision, not only do they seemingly appear to have been cut with laser technologies, but the Barbara Caves is undoubtedly the jewel in the crown. When previously looked at by us, we were astonished by the finish of the cave's walls, both in surface and angle, which, thankfully, due to the structure's sheltered nature, have survived for at least 2,300 years in incredible condition. Even more astounding, however, is that this precision has recently been confirmed using modern sonar-like technology, allowing for an incredibly detailed map of each cave to be created, each cave's image made from millions of points of reference, revealing for the first time in well over 2,000 years just how incredible the creators of these cave systems were a feat many now believe we could not achieve ourselves. Perfect 180 curvatures on the roofs, perfect 90-degree angles on the doorways, perfectly flat floors, and perfectly vertical walls. The creation of the caves was simply perfect. 
we feel it is undeniable that whoever created these caves had in their possession incredibly advanced stone-cutting technologies. Yet, how this was done and with what are questions which we find hugely intriguing. A few months ago, we did a video regarding an enigmatic mountain which rests within modern-day Tibet. We touched upon the amazing legends, speaking of the mountain actually being that of an ancient man-made pyramid, which according to such legends is placed at the center of the universe. They spoke of a mysterious giant eye placed upon the top of the mountain, an eye which according to said legends will reveal itself when the ice and snow within the area melts away. Akin to a story containing the eye of Mordor, yet hopefully not as malevolent. Although Mount Kailash can be found within modern-day Tibet, its location is very close to the borders of India, a place which few know possesses one of, if not the most amazing ancient structure to have ever been discovered or indeed built upon our planet. A structure which dwarfs the Great Pyramids, and indeed the Great Sphinx with artistic wonder. Actually known as the Kailash Temple, it is an exquisitely cut series of supposed praying temples and other communal buildings which was, many thousands of years ago, carved straight out of an enormous horseshoe-shaped rock resting within a hillside. According to mainstream academia, Kailash Temple was somehow built by a primitive people using primitive tools during a duration of 400 years, from 200 BC to 600 BC. However, no one seems to be able to explain how such a primitive culture could have possibly created something so awe-inspiring, something so artistically accurate and wonderful, something we would indeed struggle to recreate today. A structure not only architecturally accurate, but also drenched in a masterpiece of sculpture. Largely accepted as a flawless piece of art, no less than 200,000 tons of stone was masterfully carved away, creating several separate temples, each drenched in tiny artistic detail. Rediscovered in 1819, is it possible that the Hindu decorations found within were merely later additions? additions to a relic left actually built by a civilization far more advanced and far more ancient than we are allowed to publicly believe? It is understandable for one to wonder, how did a primitive civilization create such a wonder with primitive tools, attaining such a perfection, such refined finish to each tiny detail? It is conveniently unexplained just how they managed to cut into this single block of rock with such precision and indeed vision adorning the structure with thousands of animals. It seems as if it were a tribute, a gift depicting what can be found on our planet. Is Mount Kailash, as legends say, really the center of the universe? Is this mind-bogglingly detailed, most intricately built ancient temple by a long way actually a tribute to this fact? Made up of temples which are all now perceived to be shared between three faiths, Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain. Are these multiple faiths further evidence of a re-inhabitation rather than a construction? The 200,000 tons of rock, for example, is nowhere to be found. And as previously covered in the Kailash video, the same is seen with the apparent enormous excavation found around the base of Mount Kailash itself. Compelling evidence for manipulation of the landscape giving credence to the legends of it being, in fact, an enormous pyramid. Regardless of this, the fact that the temple carries the same name as this mysterious and still unclimbed mountain within Tibet, we find highly compelling. India is a place littered with incredible ancient yet unexplained ruins. Intricate ancient carvings can be found dotting the cliff faces. Seemingly laser-cut caves hewn from enormous rocks, and perhaps the most impressive of its collection, the rock temples hewn straight from bedrock which can be found all over the country. We recently focused our attention on one of these sites in particular, perhaps the most impressive of these ancient temples. Known as Kailash, it is a structure drenched in sculpted animals and religious idols. 
Many others also exist, somehow carved straight out of stone hillsides. The accuracy in which these structures were carved, the refined finish achieved, has allowed these structures to evade explanation to this day. There is, in fact, another site within India, another temple, that, just like Kailash, was somehow hewn from a solid hillside. However, what is particularly interesting regarding this temple is that it was mysteriously abandoned leaving the apparent different stages of its construction for all to see. Known as Vetavan Coil, it is located within Kalagumalai a panchayat town in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Intriguingly, upon the structure and the carved walls, which it is now framed by, is the same telltale chisel marks found at so many other sites around the world, an anomaly we have already covered in depth. However, what is particularly interesting regarding Vetivan Coil is the fact that these crude marks are also accompanied by the seemingly impossible perfect finished sculptures, which mystify all who peer at them to this day. It is a visual, chronological timeline cast in stone, possibly left by an as yet unknown people, using unexplained yet amazing artistic skills. The temple seemingly displays the methods used to carve it. The artist responsible crudely chiseled the design, presumably somehow from the mind's eye, then somehow professionally worked into the refined, astonishing art, which adorned so many of these ancient Indian structures. Who built Vetivan Coil? How did they achieve such perfection, with such hard stones, at such an early time in history? Is it, like academia would have you believe, a mere 1400 years old? Or is it a far more ancient structure, built using as yet unknown stone working techniques, used by an unknown group of artists? As research mounts surrounding such sites, the answers will inevitably be discovered.